So let's start with yesterday. How did that feel? You're in the changing rooms, you're about to walk through the door out onto centre court. Yeah, I was following Djokovic and um, he was serving for the match, lost his serve, it went on a bit, there was a tie break, so it was just quite nervy. Mm. I'd, I'd been walked through centre court earlier that morning. Well, to show you where everything was? Yeah, to just do the walk. Just it was quite daunting. Yeah. yeah. But what was lovely is we all love to get behind someone and, and cheer them on. What's the shoe thing with your fans? I have absolutely no idea. They started <laughs> taking their shoes off in my first round and it's kind of stuck and become a thing now. But well, it worked. It got you where we were talking boat, to a huh? banana the other day, so whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever it takes. And Jenny, you, we really have you to thank for this because you guys, you haven't been together that long, but you met out in a nightclub um, and you started talking to each other. You say you, it was love at first sight, really. You sort of knew when you saw her that you yeah. were going to be with her. She was a special girl but you had other plans you were thinking of going to America and of course Jenny that was not what you had in mind no <laughs> not at all and it was about a week after we'd met and I could sense hesitation when he said you know I, I might be thinking of going to America and coaching and and then he started backtracking saying that would be the easy way out of things you know I'm, I'm tired of fighting and you know funding and everything to get good at tennis and I just said, don't go. Literally just blotted it out. And it was, he just looked at me and went, OK. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> decision made. And decision thank goodness made. he did say so that. So what was the lead up to that then? Where, where had your head been? Where had your tennis been? I was a good junior. I was top 15 in the world. And then sort of lost my way between the age of 19 and 23, 24. Or didn't work hard enough, stuff mm. like that. Because um, you, then that's that's the problem. It was just a sort of dedication and commitment. It was dedication. I worked, but I didn't work 100%. I can't say I did. Yeah. Um, and you looked in the mirror one day and thought, you've got to pull yourself together. You're a better loser, yeah. Really? Did you think yeah. that? Just wasting, just wasting my life, yeah. And because you knew you had that talent there as well. And yeah, I knew I could play. Um, yeah. I didn't realise it would get out of hand like this this year, but I thought, yeah, my If something's going to get out please. of hand, this is the best way for it to happen. Yeah, yeah. This is a, this is, I mean, this is really is the stuff the movies are made of. And up until now, within your pro professional career, I'm right in thinking you've sort of made about 250 quid. Yeah, I played one tournament earlier this year and then got injured, so... So that was Not it. Not much. So, I mean, I've made a bit of coaching and, and travelling, playing for French. But actually, French playing French. professionally, that's yeah. kind of it. So, after yesterday... Your bank balance is looking slightly better. Fifty k up, aren't you? Fifty k up, yeah. Don't what know are you going to do with it? Spend that on? No idea. I haven't really thought about the money yet, to be honest. Um, Let's just, um, just, just, just quickly have a look at some of the the best parts of yesterday's game for you, the match. Um, first set, third game, you slipped um, and uh, and then produced an amazing return and actually got got a, got a round of applause from Federer himself. Yes. There were, there were loads and loads of really good points. Um, he's tough. He puts a lot of balls in places. He's the best player of all time, so of course he's going to be good. Second set, game two, got into your stride um, and, uh, and, and the, 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 actually getting up onto the scoreboard, um, it was like you'd won the match. I know, it was mm. so nice. Look at that! <laughs> 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 won a game, brilliant. I know, I know. It's like... I'll try and win a match, but hey. And then uh, third uh, third set, game seven, I mean, you were actually holding him at bay, 4-3. Mm, no, I was, I was getting into the match. Yeah. I had a feel for it. I played a bad game at four, but he put a couple of returns. Just He's just brilliant. Um, makes you feel like you have to go for a lot. Yeah. I did still you... played well. Did yeah, you hear about what, what he said about you? Um, I've heard a few things. Yeah, he said, really nice. uh, he said it was very different, some great shot making. I always knew it was going to be a completely different match. He had nothing to lose. Marcus played wonderfully. My man mindset was that I was playing a guy at the, uh, in the top 50. Uh, it was a pleasure for me to play against him. He brought some unbelievable energy to the court with his play, uh, the fans and his enthusiasm as well, which is, you know, lovely, lovely. Yeah. What happens now back at the Warwick Boat Club where you've been training? Are Big you match tonight. Going back? Yeah, oh, you've, I'm got, gonna... you've got a, a doubles match. I got a, yeah, it's a big match. Yeah, I don't know who we're playing against, but commentary league match later. Um, no, I'm going to go there, do some coaching, keep training, and I'll play a few tournaments. Yeah, and uh, and as far as you're concerned, you you only just caught that that first match, the one we started. Everyone's side talking about it because you're a, you're a dentist. Yeah, and uh, and the suction machine broke down. It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got to work, and the suction unit was playing up with the first patient and they, they dealt with it really well um, and then it just stopped completely and the engineer could only get in in the afternoon so 
I didn't actually know what was going on and reception just cancelled all the patients and, oh, gosh. and then came up and said, Jen, you're free for the rest of the day. So Thank goodness for that. And what a five months it's been from meeting that night, that fateful night, to now sitting side of centre court with the your love of your life. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got high hopes. Good luck. Thank you very well much. Done. Thank well you. Done. Thank we, we all needed that. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did actually. Say. We, we really needed that. It was, it was lovely to meet you both.